Unit 10. Analysis. We all care what those around us think, and our beliefs about the world are strongly influenced by our peers. Indeed, when it comes to the crunch, most people would rather be liked than be right, and they tend to adjust their beliefs to the norms of those around them. This is particularly apparent in the case of fashion, where we take our cues from other people about what is cool. We may also think that various forms of questionable behavior, such as illegally downloading music or tax evasion, are acceptable on the grounds that everybody does it. However, since we tend to read things that reflect our prejudices and associate with people who share our attitudes, we sometimes overestimate the extent to which other people think as we do. This is known as the false consensus effect. Practice 1. The source of every new idea is the same. There is a network of neurons in the brain, and then the network shifts. All of a sudden, electricity flows in an unfamiliar pattern, a shiver of current across a circuit board of cells. But sometimes, a single network isn't enough. Sometimes a creative problem is so difficult that it requires people to connect their imaginations together. The answer arrives only if we collaborate. That's because a group is not just a collection of individual talents. Instead, it is a chance for those talents to exceed themselves, to produce something greater than anyone thought possible. When the right people come together and when they collaborate in the right way, what happens can often feel like magic. But it's not magic. There is a reason why some groups are more than the sum of their parts. 2. A puppy will often cry, whine, whimper, or howl when he is left alone. This is basically his way of calling out for attention, of calling out to make sure that you know he is there and that you have not forgotten about him. He feels insecure when he is left alone. For example, when you are out of the house and he is in his crate, or when you are in another part of the house and he cannot see you. The noise he is making is an expression of the anxiety he feels at being alone, so he needs to be taught that being alone is okay. You are not actually training the dog to stop making noise. You are training him to feel comfortable when he is all by himself and removing the need to make the noise. 3. How do one-way mirrors, the ones used in interrogation room, work? A one-way mirror seems to be a mirror when seen from one side, but as a window when seen from the opposite side. Thus, the window is disguised as a mirror to allow secret surveillance. Physically, there is no such thing as a one-way mirror. That is, the amount of light reflected from one side is the same as that reflected from the other. The light transmitted in one direction is the same as that transmitted in the opposite direction. How then does a one-way mirror work? First, the mirror isn't totally reflecting. It transmits half the light and reflects the other half. The second requirement has to do with lighting. It is essential that the observation room remain dark, because if a lamp were turned on, some of that light would pass through into the interrogation room as well.